Hi, I'm Dan Laughlin with HyperMX. We're here at the Pocket Gamer Connects event in San Francisco, and I'm with Chris from Rebellion. Thanks for joining us, sir. It's a pleasure, Dan. Tell us about you know kind of the the evolution of the company and what you guys are up to. Yeah, and we started out actually our very first game was uh, we worked on our own title that's called Eye of the Storm that we published ourselves, and then we got into a very I guess a comfortable world where we were doing work for hire for a lot right. of other people, so on consoles. So we did Atari Jaguar games, we did PC, we did console. Um, but then that that reached a certain point where there was this kind of like a glass ceiling mm. as to how well you could do, how right. far you could go. And that was really down to effectively a man month rate. Right. So we changed in the last what four or five years. We've made the change over to a, being a developer publisher where we make our own games. Uh, we decide what we do um, and when we do it, and we'd be fortunate enough to be able to make that work for us very well. We've sort of we've grown over the years. We're now, I think, something like 300 people across three wow. different studios. So one of your more popular mobile games is called Raceline CC, a, yes. a motorcycle game. Yeah. So tell me about, as, as the CTO, uh, you know, what, what engine is that built on, and, then, and how do you leverage an engine to create you know, some sense of excitement on a mobile platform for you know, what should be an exciting experience on a motorcycle? Yes. Well, actually, it's our own technology. Uh, so we have an Azura engine, and that's the same engine across all of our games. So PC, uh, mobile, console, VR, it's all our own technology. And we are, are um, as a game developer, we've been around long enough to want to, to be able to create our own engine. Um, so, and that's been worthwhile for us that you know, we're making modifications to our own engine, we're improving it as we go along. So as a, as a company that does a mix of PC, mobile, console, Sounds like your engine is flexible enough to work across those platforms. Are your teams also, or how do you kind of make, yes. you, make your talent work? Yeah, across part, of, part of the, the thing for us is that people get to work across a range of games. So, you know, people are just doing the, the next version of the same game year in, year out. And it gets a little bit boring for them. You know, it, it's understandable. And it's nice to have a range of different titles across a range of different platforms. So people can say, look, I'd really like to work on this for six months to a year. And it helps to broaden the experience of people so they understand how you know, monetization works across different ways, uh, and they can maybe bring that back around to other platforms. And on the on the free to play side for mobile, uh, you know, ads have played a, a small role in, in some of your games. Is that something you look to expand upon, or are there there are challenges that you have in, in that arena? That yeah, I mean, the, the big problem with the, with sort of monetization through ads on mobile is just the number of different SDKs and keeping up to date with them. And actually, you know, sometimes it comes to a point where it's just it's just not worth doing too much. Um, and I think that's that's a real issue for kind of monetization in mobile games. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thanks All very right. much.